All right, Forbidden Forest. Here we come. Because all of these single-player things I do were all probably originally intended to be multiplayer. Hi. I actually remember this. I have to knock this thing down, right? Made a little bridge. Cool. What's this other Spongify pad do? Oh, okay. Another. I'm, I see what I'm doing here. I gotta make a whole, whole thing. Go to that. There we go. I totally get it. I'll go and activate that in case my Lumos goes away. See, this is why I have so much extra tree bark. I, I keep fighting these Groot-looking people. I get so much bark from it. And get you. Come here. Alright, where are we going? Oh, oh, cool. A little shortcut. What's that? Yeah, I see you. I see you. Don't play these games with me. I'm totally aware of you. Look at this fog effect. What the hell? That's actually kind of nasty. I don't know what it'll look like to you guys all compressed and stuff by YouTube, but to me, that looked pretty damn gross. Alright, come here, frog. I actually kind of need this frog. Come here. Don't play these games. What on earth is... That is creepy, man. Getting attacked by trees and stuff. Nice! Oh, wow. Okay, that's... Real swell. Real... Real nice. Damage that I couldn't have avoided, I guess. Yeah. God damn, this fog effect sucks. I don't know why you guys, like, line up. Maybe they have a problem with their random number generator or something. Or, like, they don't have one. That may be it. This is actually really fun. I missed some beans! Wow, that Spongify pad sucked! I missed a bean. By the way, where am I still getting this Lumos from? I haven't done anything with Lumos for a while. If I remember correctly. Can they walk? They can't even walk through their own spider webs. Alright, that's kind of pathetic. You literally trapped yourself in a hole. I mean, I feel sorry for you. I mean, to be honest, you're not really very intelligent, so... It's probably a good thing that you don't get to uh, reproduce and create more unintelligent spiders. You too. Man, you guys are not very smart, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. Oh. Okay. Good job. I guess. Why are you not casting a spell? There we go. Come here. I cannot be putting up with this. Get in there. Hi. Oh wow, you can actually break out. Look at you. Were the other ones able to do that? I don't think the other ones were able to do that. Get in there. Hey, Mr. Spider. What? That's terrifying. It didn't work the first time. Are these ones bigger? These ones are bigger. That's gotta be it. That one's taking three now? Are you kidding me? I think that one took three. These spiders kind of terrify me. I'll be perfectly frank with you guys. I'll be honest about that one. Come here. I have so much bark. Okay, I need to start buying, like, trading and stuff for some of the other potions. Matter of fact, what is my potions button? Oh, there it is. I have seven of these. Let's take another one. There we go. Because remember, children, taking drugs always improves your stamina. Wait. <laughs> really? So, hold on, I'm sorry. So instead of just having the texture on there as the, the swirly, they put a sign. All right. Sure. Why not? I mean, I guess it, it, it got the point across. Really? It got the point across, so I was able to figure it out, which is what really matters, but it just kind of seems like they could have just put the symbol on the thing, like every other point in the game where they did that. 
Any motherfuckers about to pop out of there? Oh! Tried to catch me off guard. Get in there. Give me some beans. Nope. Oh, you, you did it all wrong. Get in there. Do it better this time. Really? Wow, you're bad at this. Here, come on. One more time. There we go. Third time's the charm, you know. Just uh, get my way through here. Destroying plants and stuff. No, I really didn't want to carry that. Thanks, though, Harry. Really, really good. Wow, they did it again. And then they're like, hey, well, we, we made the sign and we did all the, the modeling and the texturing. We might as well use it again. Am I the only one really creeped out by this giant web? And the fact that they're, like, giving me health and shit? We got a boss level up. I know that. I know we got a giant spider we got to fight. I got to be getting cl Hold on. I've got to be getting close to another... I'm four away. Never mind. I'm really not that close. They know I have a whole bunch of bark because of the game mechanic. Alright. I've got way more potions. This game is a bit... I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. The game is probably designed for children. So the game is a little bit easier than I remember. But, you know, it's fine. It's a fun game. We're reliving the past. Aragog. Ha ha. Do the voice. I know you have a good voice. Oh, there's no awesome voice. I came to help him. Why does Hagrid need help? Some say that Hagrid released a monster long ago in Hogwarts. It killed someone and it must have come back. You haven't figured it out yet? He released, but he sent me away. I've never gone back, and I've never heard anyone in Hogwarts. So you're not the guardian of the Chamber of Secrets? No, the guardian is an ancient creature that spiders fear above all others. It kill a girl in the bathroom, not I. Thank you. I think I should go now. No, you won't. I cannot deny my children such fresh meat. Goodbye, friend of Hagrid. Like it's even got the the symbol on it. If I cut those support webs with the window, I bet Aragog will fall into the pit. Support webs. My children. That was loud. That was really loud. So, I mean, I remember how to do it. You literally just go around and, like, run in a circle. And they're slower than you, so you can... That is a big one right there. Look at that guy. Good luck with that. This is actually really freaky. This is totally freaky. You only have one more. Are you ready for this? Here we go. I know I've taken care of him. He was actually the least threatening th threatening thing in the room right now. He's by far the least threatening thing in the room. Oh. Okay, that's how webs work, apparently. That's how uh, spider webs work. And all your minions have left. We just, uh... He's got the Rip to Sempra symbol on him. Like... Oh my god! This would be so scary in real life. Oh my god. And I'm not even that afraid of spiders, but this shit would be terrifying. Get away from me! Oh my god, he got me. Okay. It's fine. Too bad I can't actually see my character right now. Can you stop with the freaking out? Oh my god. Sir? Alright, hold on. Let me take a potion. Let me take another one. Get out of here. You're almost dead. Good day, sir. Motherfucker. He's still alive. I mean, he could crawl out of there. I learned something from Lockhart's class. Rictus Emperor. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he could climb out of there. You have no idea what I've been through. Car, but Hermione has been attacked. She's been petrified like the others. 
Ethan. Oh no! We should get back as soon as possible. Oh no! This game needs a, a vehicle level, a car level, I think. My opinion. I think they should have had it at the beginning of the game and they should have had it at the end of the game. Or, well, right there, not at the end of the game. Alright, I haven't actually explored this upper level too I much. Not let Madame Pomfrey see me. There's Hermione! What's that she's holding? It's a note in her handwriting. Here's what it says. Of the many fearsome beasts and monsters that roam our land, there is none more deadly than the basilisk, the king of serpents. This snake, which may reach gigantic size and live hundreds of years, is born from a chicken's egg, hatched beneath a toad. Aside from its deadly and venomous fangs, the basilisk has a horrible stare, and all who are fixed with the beam of its eye shall suffer instant death. Spiders flee from the basilisk, for it is their mortal enemy. The basilisk flees only from the crowing of the rooster, which is fatal to it. But how's the basilisk been getting around the place? A giant snake! Someone would have seen! Pipes, Ron! It's been using the plumbing! I've been hearing that voice inside the walls! The plumbing. That girl who died! Aragog said she was found in a bathroom! What if she never left the bathroom? What if she's still there? You do realize pipes are not that big, right? A moaning myrtle? The entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. What if it's in... Moaning, moaning Myrtle's bathroom? bathroom? All students are to return to their house dormitories at once. All teachers return to the staff room immediately, please. Oh no! Not another attack! Pipes are not that big. Yes, there had been another attack. The worst one yet. This time, someone had disappeared. Then how do you know it's the worst one yet? Weasley, and another message was left on a wall. It said, her skeleton will lie in the chamber forever. Hogwarts would surely close now. It didn't close the first time someone died. Professor Lockhart had been given the task of rescuing Ginny, but Ron and Harry were beside themselves with worry. They had to do something. Hurry, Harry! We have to save Ginny! We need Why? to have a plan. I'll go to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom and try to find the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. And I'll go find Lockhart. It wouldn't surprise me if he was trying to sneak out of Hogwarts. It's so funny how they just cut little things out of the uh, the story. Like from the movie, right? They have to condense it, and they condense it in a really interesting way. Am I... I thought it was... Oh, I think it's one more level up. Never mind. I was in a different place than I originally suspected. Alright. The Chamber of Secrets. 